Amazon, that marvel of modern shipping that successfully defeated unionization pushes for years, might finally be facing a worthy challenger. The Teamsters will build the types of worker and community power necessary to take on one of the most powerful corporations in the world and win. That's right, one of the country's oldest, largest, and most powerful unions is coming for Amazon's warehouses. In June, representatives of the Teamsters' 1.4 million members voted overwhelmingly to focus the union's energy on what they're calling the Amazon Project. They're planning to get workers unionized by organizing strikes, education drives, training programs, and generally being a big pain in Amazon's ass. And sure, Amazon busted a huge union push in Bessemer, Alabama earlier this year, but that push was led by the retail, wholesale, and department store union. The Teamsters have much more leverage because they also represent workers in trucking, package delivery, freight trains, and ports, all things that Amazon needs to do business. Plus, the Teamsters are legends at this stuff. The union took on UPS Freight in the 90s. 185,000 workers went on strike for two weeks and got UPS to raise wages and give more job security. And the Teamsters have been having that type of success since it started organizing workers well over 100 years ago. Its original members were horse drivers, grave haulers, and beer wagon drivers. So, logistics workers. So there is no other union in the United States that is as embedded in the same industries that Amazon works in as the Teamsters. And so, in this sense, they are unmatched in terms of in, in the country in terms of um, you know their ability to organize the Amazon. So the Teamsters has 1.4 million members in the United States and like 500 local unions that are everywhere. And so they basically have the power to sort of bring Amazon to its knees with like a massive coordinated work stoppage across the country. And I think that Amazon is aware of that. The Teamsters are tagging into this fight because of what they say are Amazon's terrible labor practices. Like how delivery drivers say they've had to pee in bottles because finding a bathroom would put them behind on Amazon's work requirements, which then puts them at risk of getting in trouble or fired. Amazon denies this. And Amazon's so powerful that workers at other companies say their working conditions are being impacted too, as shipping and delivery companies like UPS try to keep up with Amazon. Teamster members at UPS say they're being asked to work longer days, on weekends, and on holidays, and to hit quotas that one union member called astronomical, all things that the Teamsters fought against back in the 90s. So Amazon workers unionizing would benefit them too. Amazon didn't respond to our request for comment. And while the Teamsters' big Amazon project hasn't gone into full swing yet, the union is already making headway with Amazon workers in California and Iowa. And this clash of titans is just getting started. 